Hey everybody, it's Chantel with Gov Success. Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough with the beta version of SAM.gov to search for contract opportunities by your PCS code. Um, PCS stands for Product Service Code. It's basically a really niche uh, in the weeds type of code specific to your product. So for example, say your janitorial service, then there's probably housekeeping or other kind of janitorial type service specific codes available for you to search by. So to do contract opportunities, you can just simply drop down to contract opportunities. If you have an account, you can sign in. If you want to create an account, you can sign in, but by all means, you do not need to be signed in or to have an account in order for you to search this information. So please do not feel obligated to do so if you do not want to. However, there are many benefits and you'll be able to see that in other videos of having an account and what you can really do to optimize your search capabilities. At this time, there's not a reason to put anything in the search bar, just simply clicked on search. And once you get to the search results, there's a couple of key things I like to remind people to have in place. Number one, you wanna have active only search, so you have active opportunities only. And it's best for you to sort by last updated date, so you have the latest and greatest information available. If you search by title, it searches in alphabetical order of the actual header of each opportunity, so each one is an opportunity. Um, also, you'll see the dates are pretty dated. This is 2018, so that doesn't really help you too much in today's environment. By, However, in theory, if the item is listed here in the search, in search results, it should be an opportunity that still exists. So there's nothing wrong with you contacting people for this information to confirm that it is available. Um, so last updated data is the best for latest and greatest information. One other thing I like to also suggest and recommend to people is to include the place of performance by state to have that selected. Automatically place of performance location is selected for you, which requires a zip code um, and it only searches for that zip code. There is not a range involved. So if you live in Vegas and search by 89081. It is only going to give you the stuff that's available in 89081. And perhaps that is a residential location. It does not have a really a lot of government stuff there. You're not going to get the opportunities you need. So be sure to um, do by the state that you can support to broaden your ability to search opportunities. Um, so the f Additional filters available for you to search by are on this left-handed side. And if you go down to service classifications, you'll see the PCS code option right here. I do have other videos available for these other service classifications, so feel free to search for them um, and they'll be included in the top of the screen. Um, so if you don't know your PCS code, um, you can either select um, one of the many that are listed here, there are hundreds here, so it'd probably be best for you to um, do keyword search at this point. So if you are a janitorial company, you'll see that there's housekeeping custodial janitorial as a PCS code. And as you select these things in this left-handed filter bar, it will update the search results. So as you can see here, there are janitorial options already listed here. And of course, 2020 is listed as the dates. Um, these are Alaska. So it's going by the state Alaska here. So that's another, that's the primary reason why I recommended to have the state included. So say you're in the District of Columbia, there is one opportunity available with the current date of 2020. It is dated January, so it may be past due, but there is at least an opportunity listed for that PCS code and um, the area that you're searching for. Um, you can also search multiple um, PCS codes. So say you do flooring, you do floor polishing and vacuum cleaning equipment maybe, um, as maybe you sell your distributor, not only do a, are you a janitorial company, but you also perhaps um, provide equipment that, that can be used in a commercial setting. 
maybe you have um, management of sewage and waste facilities as a part of that maybe you do construction maybe you do leasing of equipment or other things that are similar to as a complementary aspect of your business and by all means there's something for every industry in here so i'm using janitorial as an example of a industry that has complementary things um, maybe you um, do cleaning for construction and can find a specific item related to cleaning of facilities for construction sites, uh, like a prep, you know, pre or post construction repair. Um, and each time you add them, it'll just add more and more. And of course, that only that one is for DC still. Um, if you take away that code again, it searches all over. So that is how you search for a PCS code in the beta version of SAM.gov. Look out for other videos for Nix codes, small business set-asides, and other great ways to optimize your search uh, in SAM.